Hey everyone, Entash here, and this is how to get rich quick in Monster Hunter. So one of the quick things you can do is go into your item box, go into your materials, make sure you sort it, and go to the last page. There's going to be these trade-in items that are probably sitting there that you haven't sold yet. These are 100% currency items and they have no value other than Zenny. You can't craft with them, you can't do anything with them. All you have to do is trade them in. Now, you might not have a ton of them if you just started the game, but if you're, you know, 10-15 hours in, there might be a nice little treat for you when you get here. Especially if you've been doing um, ship runs with the Argosy, he will randomly bring back some trade-in materials that will help you. Uh, some of the quests will reward you with things like silver eggs and golden eggs. And if you've been using the Bandit Mantle, you're going to have stuff like beautiful and lustrous scales. So, if you've never used the Bandit Mantle, this is one of the best farming tools in the game if you're looking solely for Zenny. To get the Bandit Mantle, you're going to have to complete the quest Redefining Power Couple. It's when you have to fight a Rathian and a Rathalos at the same time, kill them, and you're going to get the Bandit Mantle. Now, this thing's beautiful because as you attack your target, these golden items are going to drop down. They are materials you can pick up, and they are 100% trade-in items. The more damage you dish out, the more consecutive attacks you do, the more time this Bandit Mantle is going to proc, and the amount of gold that you can get, or sorry, Zenny you can get, is insane. Now the value and rarity of these things is going to change depending on what enemy you're fighting and how lucky you get with the drops, but overall you can expect them to be worth over a thousand gold per piece. After wailing on an enemy enough, you're going to have so many pieces that drop that you honestly will never have to farm again. If you take this on just a few missions, you're going to be so rich it's not even funny. After farming the two enemies that you saw in this video here, I was able to get 21,000 gold in lustrous scales, another 1,000 from the next one, and then another 6,000 from the large scales. So these add up very quickly. Um, it's almost equivalent to like a large quest reward. This is like over 30, well, I guess it's, it's like 28,000, but still, it's amazing. Now finally, this is one of the biggest lump sum payouts you can get. I would look for investigations that have bonus to the reward money. In this case, it's almost double all the other ones because there's a bonus on the reward money. What's better yet is if you choose to do this mission and use a lucky voucher, it will a double that a money again. That's 61,000 zenny almost from one mission. And if you have multiple lucky vouchers, you can do this multiple times. There's almost no um, items in the game that are going to be 60 thousands any there's a couple weapon upgrades that i saw that were like 56,000, but still you can do one quest and pay for that weapon so if you're looking to get more gold you're looking to be rich like the tash man then you had better start using those lucky vouchers on these rewards start using the bandit mantle and make sure to sell all those trading materials that's it for me hopefully you enjoyed and i will see you soon my friends Bye bye